Hello, and welcome one and welcome all to a very strange Wednesday afternoon stream. Now, why am I streaming on a Wednesday afternoon? <clears throat> because I promised you guys a stream this week. Uh, Tuesday night, I got a mini rant here. <sighs> Thing is, I don't know if I want to go too far into it. But Tuesday night, normally, I'd be jumping on between 9 and 11 Central Time to game for a little while. Um, if that's hosting a different streamer, if that's me playing something on here on Twitch or on um, Scum, VM, whatever. Um, it's cool because, you know, it works out really well for my schedule and it gives me a chance to kind of game and chat with you guys on Tuesday nights. And it's awesome. However, we, um, my, my family and I decided to go out for dinner. And it literally threw my entire evening off by an hour and a half. Now, how does, an in, how does dinner throw off your entire plan like that? Well, if you're in the middle of a road trip-ish type thing, our family was on a three-hour round loop to go and do something, go out to dinner. Um, the, the, the main problem is, is the place we were going to is brand new-ish, about a year-old restaurant in Westfield, Wisconsin, called the Bent Rail. And it was awful. Uh, I wouldn't say the, the food was awful. Actually, the food was okay. The service... And the time we had to wait was awful. I'm not going to sit here and rant and rave about a place that other people could maybe have different experiences with or whatever, but we had a bad experience. So that threw me completely off. Uh, we didn't get back home until uh, about an hour after my stream was supposed to have even started. And then after getting kind of all settled, settled and everything, it pretty much had completely taken the entire two hours out of my night. So I didn't stream last night, but I'm going to stream now. Um, I've got a couple hours here, uh, kind of just wrapped up my work day, got a couple hours before we're going to plan dinner. You may hear kids walking around, um, kind of wondering, uh, asking me questions like, Daddy, Daddy, uh, do you do you have food ready? Are you starting dinner? We're going to make dinner tonight. We are. We're going to eat. Don't you worry, little children. We're going to eat. But until then, I wanted to take some time to kind of make it up to you guys, if you were watching or not, and stream a game, a very fun game called Valhalla. What's Valhalla, you ask? Let's jump in. My thought process here is that I'm going to go ahead and start this game, get a get an hour or so into it. Um, it's fun. It's pretty cool. A lot of different characters. It's a lot of text, so you're going to be reading, and, and uh, it's a text-based kind of adventure-type game. Is it adventure, though? No, it's cyberpunk bartending. I'm actually a bartender. I'm going to be mixing drinks for random customers and talking to them and kind of hearing about their lives. So I'm going to try to do as many voices as I can uh, to kind of go over uh, all the rest of the characters. So here we go. I'm going to start a game from scratch, too. I'm not going to continue. So obviously we're going to do English. Let me see if I can keep up with this here because there is a lot of dialogue and a lot of... Text is kind of the intro here. East Brid Games. Whoa. Glitch City 2070X. A city that shouldn't exist, a tax haven where corporations and criminal empires reign supreme. In this place, all human life has been infected with nano machines to keep them in check over this strand. See, I can't read that fast. It, that's messed up. I can't read that fast. Hmm. Here, brutality in all its forms is an everyday reality. The quality of life for the non-powerful decreases. For many, this, is, <laughs> this can be an overwhelming. Some devote themselves to their jobs, their families, and even their studies. Some look for ways to escape this place, and others, well, they just give up. But for many of them, the answer lies at the bottom of a glass. On a small road just seconds away from the main street somewhere near the slums, you can find the Hall A of the BTC. But that's the mouthful, so we just call it Valhalla. VA 11 Hall A. A small oasis in the middle of the concrete desert. A fountain of spirits waiting for tired souls. And it's here where this story unfolds. Cyberpunk Bartender Action. Let's do new game. Grab some drinks, some snacks. Thank you for playing Valhalla. So sit back, relax. We hope you have a good time. Click to continue. This game is best played. Getting comfortable, grab some drinks. 
some snacks and enjoy. I don't actually have any drinks or snacks here. Damn it. This is what I was planning on doing is having a few drinks while I was playing this, but... Okay, here's Anna. Psst. Hey, over here. Boo. How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe, look sharp. The game's starting, and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad cor corgis over the weekend, and the bar will eventually close. <laughs> because I know you know how to take care of yourself, sir. <laughs> and I'll admit, any little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. Oh, that's very sweet. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. Oh, really? Yeah? You got it. <laughs> Alright, sweetie. A bug on your snack? Are you playing bug snacks? <laughs> I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. Hey, Mia. Get some headphones. Thank you. In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. See ya. Oh, <sighs> just a dream. Hmm, there's something near the door. Chapter One, Primera. Your membership to Shining Fingered <laughs> will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 in it by then. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. You can now browse the augmented eye. Click to dismiss this message. So this is like your phone. This is your apartment. You can see like, she's got shirts in here, clothes, <laughs> poster, TV, a bed here, kind of hanging out with her cat. Four. So who was that letter from? Nobody. So you can kind of like um, look over your cell phone. So your cell phone's on the left side here. So you can hold the unlock. Unlock your phone. So there's, you can add an app to it. I don't really know if you can add an app to it, but uh, the augmented eye is here. It's got the little exclamation mark next to it, so it's got some information in it. Mass emigration continues as Wonderlands. Wonderlanders are the newest threat. Cyborg and Heels returns next year. Cyborg and Heels returns next year to the Super Silver Thunderdome by Lana Smithy. Oh yeah, you can scroll. I'm not going to read all of that. Can change music. Actually, it's only... I wonder if this is all the music that I unlocked in my other save, because I think when it first starts, you only have access to a couple songs. You can just listen to music from the game. It's kind of a soundtrack. Let me turn this down a little bit. For me. You guys can still hear, and I hope you guys can still hear me. Let's see, go back. Uh, we'll go to save. So there's my other save. Gosh, that's I haven't played since February. February. All right, so let's go back. Um, welcome, Jill. All right, and then you kind of bum around. You can go over settings. You can exit. Let's let's just go to work. See what this game's all about. If you, if you guys haven't played this, you really should check it out. It's on everything now. Um, it's on, I believe, PlayStation, Xbox, and the Switch. And one thing I was really excited, so I picked it up on the Switch, and I was actually stoked to be able to play this on the go, you know. And I'm using a laptop to play it right now, so it's not like it's not portable already. But it's a cool game. Hey, right, ready? Let's rock. Good evening. Ah, hey there, Joe. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John face? Jill. Or Gil. No, Jillian. When do we let people call you Jules? <clears throat> Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's boss? Dunno. She went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something? 
<sighs> yes, you look distracted. Very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. But what stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful. And... Uh, there's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. What? Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy too. On top of that, neutering four left me with a completely empty wallet, and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. Four must be her cat, by the way. And there's all the beer cans around my apartment, and chill. Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. You can make a piano man. I'll skip the rest, but bear with me. Bear with me for a second here, okay? Let's start with a sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book. That will show up on the top left. You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet or types like manly. Drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shaker in the center. And that's all done in, pointing to the screen like you can see, that's all done in this section right here. So it's Edelheide, Bronson, Bronson Extract, I guess, uh, Delta, Flannerguide, and Carmo, Carmotrine. Carmotrine? Carmotrine. Chill. When done, press the mix button, and then press it again to stop mixing. Click the serve button, or the drink itself. Just serve it, and that's all. Oh, but if the drink looks messed up, you'll need to res press the reset button and try it again. You can press reset at any time, even while the shaker is moving, so don't be afraid to use it. Jill, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instructions. Then this should be no problem. <sighs> Jill wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients or the drink, I can press reset at any, any time. So let's do by name. Let's go to P. I want to make a piano man. So piano man is two Edelheide. So we'll start with Edelheide. One, two, three Bronson extract. One, two, three, five powdered Delta. One, two, three, four, five. Wondering why the hell my dog is barking. It's not for us, big guy. Uh, five uh, powdered Delta. Five Flanner Guide. One, two, three, four, five. I wish there was a way to click on multiple, so you don't have to click each time. And then three Karma Train. One, two, three. All right, so two Edelheide, three Bronson Extract, five powdered Delta, five Flanner Guide, and three Karma Train. The drink does not represent the opinion of the bar pianist. Um, union or its associates. So then we mix all on the rocks. Got to put it on ice. So boom, and then mix it. So we'll mix. Stop. And then I'll serve it. Here, you happy? Yes, very. I stand corrected. Now let's get working. Oh yeah! Before I forget. Oh man! Before you forget what? Hmm. You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, I think I actually forgot that. Oh, and if the recipe says it uses optional Karmatrine, it means you can either use none or fill it to the brim. Optional Karmatrine doesn't count towards making a big drink, though, of course. So Karmatrine is the alcoholic factor in the drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. I want to make a drink now, dude. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. Are you done with the exposition? No, I am, yeah. Here's Dana. Here, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go quick, quick make a drink. I'm just gonna make a little, a little something to split my whistle. So hold on one second. Listen to the awesome soundtrack.
pretty funny, you guys could probably see me in the background. So I made um, uh, my own little piano man with a little bit of cinnamon extract. In it. <laughs> it's uh, it's only two parts Edelheid, uh, one part Bronson extract, um, three powdered Delta, and two Flyner guys. So bottoms up. I let my dog out real quick, so I gotta let him in in about two seconds. And there he's barking again. So now he wants to come back in. <laughs> Mmm, it's actually excellent. on her tablet. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> let's get back to it, eh? How should Dana sound? Hey guys. Oh, br eh? Wh who's that? I don't know, I found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest or bring her unconscious body in here. She's going to make such a ruckus when she wakes up, you know that, right? That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. You can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have work to do, damn it. There's two of you. I believe in you, sir. Believe in yourselves. Ugh. This is not a good situation. Do you think Chief knocked her out? <clears throat> nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crowing about it. Or taunting us, if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick on such a small girl, at least not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. <clears throat> okay then, time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Um... While you spent the whole weekend and Monday going got, doing God knows what, we've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs, lots of them. You're joking, right? Gil, you, you've known me for how long? Hey, buddy. Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well, so as punishment for leaving me to deal with all that on my own, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun. Just that? Fine. I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what the logic was behind that decision. Alright, let's play... You want neon glow lights? Yep. Boop. Okay. What, let's let's let Duncan be the guy who fills it up with music. Um, back twice. Well, hold on. Okay. Three times actually. Now. That one. Right Metropolis. Yep. Okay. And then how about Karma Train Dream? Yeah. Out of orbit. Out of orbit. Now on the twelve. Snowfall. Snowfall? Yep. Okay. The Underground Club sounds fun. Yeah. Base of Titans. Base of the Titans. What's that question mark one? If it's a question mark, that means it hasn't been unlocked yet. Oh. Dusk. Dusk? Okay. Um, back again. <laughs> Dawn Approaches. Dawn Approaches. Dusk and then dawn. I like it. From dusk till dawn, till dawn. Okay. Um, Actually. Nighttime. Nighttime maneuvers, and I want to do this uh, synth, yeah. synth synth stitch. And now synth the last stitch. one is all the way back at the fourth. Fourth. Okay. We know third. Okay. The middle one. Umemet. Umemet. Umemeto. 
ready. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey you, get me a beer. Oh, sure, right on it. He wants a beer, he looks like quite the big guy though. Let's see, type. Let's go with manly drinks. What is... Hmm, let's see. Let's just get him a beer, I guess. Beer is one Edelheide, one. Two Bronson Extracts, one. Two. One Powdered Delta, two Flanner Guides, and four Karma Train. So he says a big guy. So maybe what I'll do is I'll give him double that. I'll make it a big, right? So let's do one, two, three, four more, two more, one more, two more Bronson Extracts, and then one more Powdered Delta. Traditionally, brewed beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. Bubbly, classic, and vintage. Let's mix it. One, two, three, four, five. There's a beer. Here you go. Yeah, this one's good. Pretty good, in fact. Nice jab. Um, thanks, I guess. You're lucky. I was in a meeting close by. This hell hole could certainly use a presence like mine. Great. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hell holes, like New Jersey the Third. Huh. What kind of work do you do, mister? Talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Interesting, we were just reading that earlier. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. Oh, the day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. Uh, so you're the one to blame for that barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then? Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on the topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker? But not all the daily stories about murders and other stories. Well, <clears throat> well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to get to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get... Descent to s d d d people get bored <laughs> with certain types of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it only took the news. It only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby getting hit by a baby boy getting hit by a truck. Death's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easy to write about. Make of any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot. And even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. Huh, I guess he has a point. Oh, what about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic, too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that lacks a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about it, that is they know half of our clicks come from them, so they get all diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, wait, I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. <laughs> See? The 
kid on the restaurant critique column? Oh, uh, shit. Forgot that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's... That kid couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures or to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half of the place he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get the free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming in here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? No. <laughs> wasn't this one of them? Wasn't this one then? Or wasn't this one then? Anyways, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. Dude, I just gave you a beer. Like talking like that guy. I'll make him a beer. Here we go. One Edelhide. Actually, I'll double it. So I'm gonna do two Edelhides, four Bronson extracts, two powdered deltas, four Flanner guides, and then eight Karma trains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mix that son of a bitch. Mix, 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 stop. Boom. Here. Ah, oh, that's... It's the big things that make life worthwhile. What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Right. So tell me, do you see many cele celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hell. I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. Who was that? Nobody important. Hey, I heard that. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell, rather a hellish hole if you'd like. Charming. So celebrities. Not really, at least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people, especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks, people pretend to love, but actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love? Fall from grace? Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells so well? People pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want to see is their idols torn down to their level. That might be true. They want to see them suffer to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. Eh, uh, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Sadly, I feel to, I fail to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals, or if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public inde indecency. Still. Oh, please. As a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers. This sounds hypocritical coming from you. Even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TVX like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for these little moments when they can, when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. 
hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles, <laughs> the gossip articles don't help, sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You look like your big words, eh, Brett? Well, two can play that game of... Uh, huh? Hmm. Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat hellbent on world conquest. Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing the fucking subject, Jesus. Maybe, why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts, you know? We could have you ghostwriting. Half of your half of our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. Anyway. Eventually the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, I like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did, did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan, Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson, or boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is? Mr. Dawson was my father and my grandfather. It's too general, but Mr. Donovan? Well, that's more like it. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them. Not to my family, not to my position as boss. To me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, God, no. But I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks. But rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh, yeah, you were asking something? What was it? Drink. Another one. Do you? Ah, oh, yes. You know what? Third time's a charm. Give me a beer. All right. Time for another beer. Ein Biru. It's weird that this one's just called beer, but I get it. Cause it's uh. Let's do a big one again, huh? One, two, one, two, three, four Bronson extracts. One, two powdered deltas. Four Flyner Guides, two, three, four, and then eight Carmatrines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mix that some bitch up. Stop it. Boop. And a success. One beer. Here's hoping I don't pass out. Cheers. Enjoy. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole. There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, nope. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no, they have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be a boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, and all those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do that and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do what the other newspaper does? 
Recently they told me that they needed more clicks. More clicks. I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up. But it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? <clears throat> they want more clicks? Well, I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid for... At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven, though. We never heard from him again, did we? Chill! Yes? What the hell happened to, happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, I tell ya. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. The, the ceiling, the sinks, the toilets, the vents! Shh, you wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. How could Lloyd's government betray us? What game is that from? Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla, what can I... A big gut punch. Fast. Alright. Let's look up a big gut punch. Oh, oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go to gut punch. Alright, so this one's five Bronson extract, one Felderhide, and an optional Karma Train. Hmm. Okay, so the bre extract, let's do all ten. One, two, three, four, five... Two, three, four, five. Two Flanner Guides. One, two, and then an optional Karma Train. Let's do two of those. One, two. Let's do a third just to make an even 15. All right. All aged and mixed. Age and mixed is supposed to mean. One, two, three, four. The success. The big gut punch. Boom. Here. Hmm, you can actually do it then. Hmm, this crack house is a bar. Hellhole, crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says... Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDougal. Sorry about the smell, we're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Yeah, please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless. Oops. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple hours? No. Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight, Jesus. May I ask why you decided to come to our bar, then? Somebody recommended me this place, and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. A regular? Can I ask you who? No. Hmm. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent shape. Decent taste. Duncan picked the music. He's got decent taste. Hey, Jill. Hey, Jill. Where'd you put the dish soap? Gil's running out. Below the sink, where it's always been. Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. That's an achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know boss did quite a few things before opening this bar. That, that sounds, uh... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Hmm, interesting. 
You can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved Class 5 weaponry, the other one a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. Alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but there's this woman that owns a textile company. Uh, she got really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything um, afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? There's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. That's a pile driver. Honestly, I feel like suplexing him, though. All right, pile driver time. Boom. Three Bronson Extract. One, two, three. Three Flanner Guide. One, two, three. And four Karma Tree. One, two, three, four. Uh, all mixed. By the way, there is ways that you can give them too much alcohol or not enough alcohol. Oops. Or, oh shit, see, I gotta reset it. That didn't turn out very good. Uh, I think I mixed it too long. Bitter, manly, and burning. Um, but by the way, you can mess up their drink and give it to them, and then they're like, that's not what I asked for, or you can get different reactions and stuff, um, depending on how you make drinks and stuff like that. So the first time I was playing this game and learning things, it was like, I messed up drinks all the time. One, two, three, three flanner guide. One, two, three, and then four karma tree. One, two, three, four. Let's mix it this time. One, two, three, four. There we go. Here. <clears throat> so basically, you can make enemies out of people if you keep giving them the wrong drinks, so you can make friends with people if you give them exactly what they wanted. If you give them a little extra, like a big one, they ask for a small. Sometimes they're happy, sometimes they're not. It depends on the drinker, so. Every experience is different. Every time I played through it, I was also pretty different. Hmm, it's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? Jeez, guy. I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I asked if you ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes, then. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time, lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually. But for that moment, the lie can give you, give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you really faked orgasms? Or because you look like you have a lot of experience. Hey, this guy's a dick. Still, that's quite the random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. Ugh, of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a Fringe Weaver. Alright. Let's do by name Fringe Weaver. Oh man. All aged and mixed. Let's give him a double here. This guy's a total douchebag. One. Two, I'll make it big, I mean. Uh, and then the nine karma train. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And aged and mix. Three, two, one, go. There you go, you bastard. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey, lady, have you ever felt empty? Empty how, like hungry? No, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel there's this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. If you try taking up a hobby, it might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is... Bitches and alcohol. <laughs> just guy. I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left midway through. I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. 
I've also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row now. Nothing seems to do it. Um... Have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. Wasn't expecting you to help me or to believe me. Eh? I couldn't be lying. I could be. I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. I, I'm making him sound like that Donovan guy. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. The smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Good. Whew. Boss, I'm gonna take my break. All right. That was pretty crazy, right? So this game is roughly six-ish hours in one sitting. I think I played it in like three settings of two hours before. Um, literally, you just click through things and read things and learn about players, make them drinks. It's the entire game. That's that's it. Um, it's a it's a deal. It's usually a, a super super cheap game between ten to twenty bucks, if even that much. My old man puppy is walking around. Oh, you can. Yep, there he goes. You can see him. Oh, other way. There he goes. Got a fourteen-year-old pup. He is uh, got issues with um, old age. So, old age and stinky breath. All right. It's now safe to keep playing. 2069 Sukaban games. This game came out in 2069. My goodness. At least I didn't get locked up. At least I didn't get locked up this time. <clears throat> oh, um, I just, I just like this. I like what we have. Okay then, back in action. Good evening. Good eve. Um, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, sorry, it's so comfortable. I usually forget I have it on. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist Sep Asagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. What can I get for you, Say? Let's see. I'm in the mood for a sweet drink, but oh, not sweet as in cool. Although a cool drink would be nice too. I'm, I'm not cool as in great, and especially not as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow, and I can't afford a hangover. Um, sorry, did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably a cold one that's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me a sec. Something small, sweet, and icy. I wonder if I have something so specific. Um, type. Let's do girly. Mm, let's do sweet. Hmm... Sugar Rush, Sparkle Star, Blue Fairy, Moon Blast, Brandy, Brantini, and Piano Woman. Let's see if I type. Really. Okay, we can do a Sparkle Star. It's not on the ice, though. Let's try another one. Flavor Sweet, Sugar Rush. Not Mick, it's not ice. I want one on the rocks, I think. Sweet, girly, and happy. Sweet, light, sweet, light and fruity. I see. Hmm. Let's see. Oops. Uh, let's try sweet again. Blue fairy. All aged and mixed. Sweet. Moonblast. All right, here we go. So is Moonblast gonna be a type that's girly though? Damn it. Oh yeah, it is good. Okay, let's do that. Six Edelhide. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have a feeling this is what I'd be like if I was a bartender. It was like, two parts, Edelhide, one, two. I don't think I'd be very good as a bartender in real life. Uh, Powder Delta, one Flanner Guide, and two Carmatrines. Uh, all in the rocks and blended. Ice and blended. Blended, I think, is... How 
do I blend? It's like mix. So I have to wait until it starts shaking faster, right? There we go. So basically, you mix it like this, but blend it is when it shakes faster. You can see my hand moving. <laughs> Look at that. Hi, everybody. My name is Handy. Handy the Hand. Moonblast. Here you are. Ah, yes. This is just what I needed. Thanks. We don't have many white knights as clients. I can only remember one other, in fact. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh, no, 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 no. You're thinking of the Blitzkrieg Corps. The ones with huge, plated suits, right? Yeah, yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. Uh, how so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who soothe those suffering. Enemy attack. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times. The one who assists the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Um, what was that? Sorry, it's sort of our pledge of allegiance. We recite it every morning. Okay, lady. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights then. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building, I looked down and I was blown away by how pretty this city was. It was like a starry sky on earth. Oh, and there was this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car, walk, car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was almost dreamlike. Uh, that's not what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those are sights. They're shocking, right? Yeah, but, uh, uh, never mind. Wait, did I mishear you? I actually mean sights? Size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrating sighs from people after everything's said and done. But uh, don't worry, don't you didn't miss here. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. You finish your drink. Can I get you anything else? You finish your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem, don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. A classy type. All right, classy drinks. Wanna try... She like Moon Blast, let's try Mercury Blast. One Edelheit. Oh, this is on the rocks and blended too, so cool. One Edelheit, one Bronson Extract, three Powdered Deltas, three, three Flanner Guides, one. And two karma trees. One, two. Let's blend that. Oh, let's uh, on the rocks and blend that. Song. Let's blend that song, bitch. Wait till it shakes really fast. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She likes those kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Mrs. Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know, my name. Now I want to know yours. Oh, sure, just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian Ju... Julianne? Do not call me Julianne, please. <gasps> so, sorry about that. No, please excuse me, I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell on it too much. 
okay. I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill. And I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today, thanks. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and soap, of course. My mom used to be a veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school, so kind of the smell takes me back. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. <clears throat> what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next, I just woke up in the hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it was a prophetic, prophetic moment or something like that. But ever since then, I felt this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way he, they helped me. Huh, that's interesting though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was the other one that saved me. So I kind of guide myself towards judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extremist extent, but, but, but you get me. Yeah, I try to do the same too. Why join the Valkyrie Corps, specifically though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever popular. <laughs> whenever possible, I mean. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knights is too broad of a term. There is not one specific type. There are many different classes. Rescue, assault. There's even a f squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah. They get assigned to companies to handle the accounting of that kind of stuff. Th that The accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up the processes. But a few are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under-the-table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with the anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks, and besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember some drink called a martini. Brantini? No, I'm pretty sure it's a martini. It's Brantini, trust me. I'll get you one. She wants a mart... Uh, sorry, Brantini. Let's try the Brantini. Six Edelhides. One, two, three, four, five, six, three powdered gilts. One, two, three, and one Carmatrine. One. All aged and mixed. One, two, three, four. Huh. Here, see? Huh. You were right. Thanks. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place, and I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult, though. She's more into, uh, classier places. Not that this place isn't nice, but, but uh, don't worry. I know the kind of place I work in. I, I see. But it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to... What was that? It sounded like an explosion. I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. She left her helmet. Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold it for her here. I'll go check out whatever the ever-loving hell that explosion was. Be careful. What? Oh, she woke up. Where am I? Where am I? that girl that was out before. Hold on one second. Let me answer the phone. Text.
Uh-oh. She's woken up. Good, good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That, that might not have been the best thing to say. But Valhalla? Am I... am I dead? Uh-oh. Buy a kitty? You wanna buy a kitty? We're not buying any kitties, sweetheart. Maybe someday? <sighs> okay, I'll leave that open as a maybe someday. When you're like 12. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, you're adorable. I love you. <laughs> She's only five, by the way, so that gives me seven years to try to get out of that. When you're six? I like 12 better. I like the idea of 12 better. Can you drive a car when you're six? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think when you're six you can drive a car either. <laughs> Maybe when you're a grown up? That sounds even better. Yeah. <laughs> You're so funny. Seven? Okay, we can talk about it when you're seven. We still got an old puppy to take care of until then, though, right? I can tell you this much. We're going to have a time where we don't have any pets in the house for at least a little while, because I need a break. Okay? Maybe when you're a little older. We can talk when you're seven, okay? You're so silly. Does that mean that Uncle Ingus ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? Called it. Afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife works exactly. But you're breathing, right? Alright then, where the heck am I? I, I just censored that because I got a little one in the room. It has been a rainy and stormy afternoon here in central Wisconsin, by the way. So it's perfect to sit and play. It's kind of darkish in here. The kitchen light's on. Can you turn the kitchen light off, sweetie? Please? Hey, look at me. Can you turn the kitchen light off? Thank you. There it is. Much better. Pizza cutter? Duncan, maybe when I'm seven, I can get a puppy and a cat. Is that what you want to do? Jig is up. You could. That's an awesome pizza cutter. Buddy. I made the perfect 
You can probably tell that this is what my house is like. And I honestly, I work during the day. I work right here. That laptop I just closed up was the end of my work day, um, right before I jumped on here. So a lot of my work day is like this too, where I'll have meetings and the kids will just start coming up and talking to me, which is totally fine because I get it. Our home is our home. Most and first and for foremost is our home. And second, it is uh, my workplace, lunchroom, study hall. What you doing? Oh, you're getting colors out? You can take the colors to the table with you. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, this gave us about an hour sample of what this game's like. I absolutely love it. I think it's a lot of fun, and I should do this again on one of the nights where um, I'm doing my game night thing. Um, I wanted to check something else out too real quick. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exit. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back and we'll start here next time. Um, I wanna do another game. Let me think here, is Steam, there we go. So I have another game called Astalon, The Tears of the Earth. Now that is a more of a um, action adventure game. It's actually a really cool game that um, it, it, it feels a little bit of a mix of like that Shovel Knight style of gameplay mixed with like if you've ever played the Lost Vikings on the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis and then I think they even had a PlayStation and Saturn sequels. Lost Vikings, ever played it? This game reminds me of it. It's called Astalon. Uh, it's on Steam. Um, Astalon, The Tears of the Earth. I want to play that one of these nights. I actually troubleshooted or troubleshot the issue that I was having and got it to work on Linux. So it works. Pretty stoked about that. That, and I want to continue to play this game. I want to continue playing um, Valhalla, and I also want to play Read Only Memories. So Read Only Memories is awesome. Where is my list here? Wait a second. Oh, oh, 2064 Read Only Memories. Boy, that threw me for a loop for a second. I was like, where did it go? Um, Read Only Memories is another point-and-click adventure game. Um, really, really, really fun. Um, and I want to play that one of these nights, too. So I've got a lineup of a couple games that we're going to do the next couple weeks over the Tuesday nights. Um, and I want to make sure that um, we have a good lineup of games. So playing more Valhalla next Tuesday I think would be great. Uh, Read Only Memories, I was coming up. I want to play some of that with you guys. It's probably about a eight to 12 hour game-ish. It probably would, knowing me, the way I play, and I'm very slow, it'd probably take us the full 12 hours, so that could be several weeks in a row. Um, and then uh, going on to that Astalon game, I wanna play that one, that's more of a, a, a tight controls uh, platformer style. Matter of fact, I could do a little like uh, teaser of it right now just to kind of show what the game's like. Um, I think you guys would really dig it, it's really cool. It's a game I play with a controller, so it's not a point and click game, it's more of an action adventure. Um, so those, those are three games. Also, I haven't heard a lot of requests for me going back and finishing games that I'd started earlier, but we can always go back and play Full Throttle. Um, I have that save still. I'm still playing Full Throttle. I haven't touched it since the last time I streamed it. And then also, um, uh, oh, Undertale. Undertale. Uh, get back and play Undertale sometime. So there's always options for that. Let me... Um, quit out of here. I'm going to quit. Yep. And then I'm going to grab Steam to bring up that Astalon game to give you guys a quick teaser pick of that one. Because it's awesome. Uh oh. Hold on. I want this to be in windowed mode. Great. Can I get this to shrink down a little bit? Goodness gracious. How do I get out of this? So it's thinking right now. It's bringing up a uh, full screen mode, and I don't want to play it full screen. I want it to be windowed mode. So let me work on that for a second. Okay, that's great. Let's go to the options. You can probably hear the music, I would hope. Um, video. Window. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, that made that screen really tiny. Oh no, that's way too tiny. I want it bigger than that at least. I would hope that's not how big the screen's only gonna be. Okay, hold on, let me add this to the thing. Can I make this bigger? Oh, okay, hold on. 
There we go. There we go. That's a little bit better. Let me see if I can get a little bit bigger. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now I'm going to add this to the thing real quick. I realize I am fully acknowledging the fact that I am streaming right now, so this probably looks incredibly hokey of me. But let me add this to the game. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is Astalon. Yes, I'm sure. I'm messing this whole thing up. Um, it's not a screen. It is window capture. There we go. Estelon. <sighs> okay, there we go. Let's add this as Estelon. Boom, boom, boom. Swap the reds and the blues. That's the correct colors. It's really weird that um, they do that as default, though. I don't understand. Um, there we go. And now you can hear the music. So, this is Estelon. Um, let's touch on it a little bit, right? Okay, let me grab a controller. We'll play. Let me, um, play around with it for a little bit just to show some of the gameplay. So this is really fun. Um, I think you guys would totally dig this. Actually, I need to keep this out. The keyboard, oddly enough, this is the controller I'm using. Maybe I need a better controller than this. But oddly enough, to get through text boxes... I have to um, hit the enter key of all weird things, right? Okay, so this is the game. You gotta be kidding me. It actually did not save my controller settings. Ugh, I don't like that very much. Anyway, so this is what the game looks like. You come here and you switch guys and here's the different guys. Maybe I just gotta get used to the way that this plays. So each of them has uh, strengths and weaknesses. Um, you know, this guy can shoot projectiles. Um, oops, wrong button. Um, this one can jump incredibly high and can sh also shoot projectiles. Um, but this is a good character for double jumping as well. So you can like jump off of things. Um, this one has the most average um, of attacks. Sword swinging takes the most damage. Um, you know, and then and there's just a ton of puzzles and stuff that you get through. Um, so yeah, I say we could play this one time coming up. Um, if um, if the bartending game doesn't quite wet everybody's whistles, I don't know how to get up there yet. But then here's like. You know what the game's like. It's pretty awesome, pretty sweet looking, right? Um, it got really, 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 really huge, um, hugely positive reviews. So I went ahead and downloaded it right away, and it was uh, released uh, day one for Linux. And I'm like, oh hell yeah, I want, I want this game. This sounds, this sounds awesome. And uh, for whatever weird reason, I could not get it to work. I could not get the game to work, so I was left without an ability to play it. It just kept crashing, so I actually had planned on us playing it. Jesus, I'm gonna die. Oh my goodness. Uh, one night, and it totally didn't work. So I wonder if I can get to that. Nope, I can't. Great. Maybe I'll die. That'd be classic. Classic Jaeger. <laughs> This is not good. So that that is so similar to uh, Shovel Knight. Yeah, very similar to Shovel Knight. Oh, cool. I got to the next safe spot, actually. Boom. Boom. Saved it. I need something to heal, though, big time. Anyway, so I can switch guys. Oh, the cool thing is then I can probably come back this way. Oh, what, what a curse. 
What a horrible day to have a curse. Oh man, I haven't seen a death sequence yet. Oh snap, what? Ep Epimetheus, have I, have I died? Seeing I can't get through these. No, I have to hit enter, weird. Or spacebar? Indeed, you and your comrades have perished in the Tower of Serpents. No, I failed. Get up, I shall send you back, or have you forgotten our pact? I help you fulfill a promise, and you bestow upon me your soul. A foolish barter, I must say. <laughs> but my power is not yours to exploit. I grow ever impatient with you, Algus. Once you and your friends succeeded in the Tower of Serpents, I will collect your soul. I don't care about my fate. Take me back. Very well. Is there anything else? Oh. Interesting. Well, I've got some money. I will take the health. That would be cool. Oh. Do it with the damn controller. Sure, that sounds good. Um... Ah! <gasps> That looks so beautiful. It's like a it's a heart with rainbows and tears. Why is it crying? Oh my goodness, there's oh. oh I love this. Look at this is a picture my daughter just drew. You see that? <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, it looks so cute. I love it. It's like a heart with eyes. It's got blue tears and a rainbow. Yeah, it's blue tears. I love the sun in the corner too. Oh, good job, sweetie. Because the, the tears are going like that because the wind. Oh my goodness. Wind. That is incredible. Is it done? Yeah. It's done so I can keep it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put it over here with all my other stuff. It's so cute, right? I love it. Good job. It's not, there, that was not the rainbow because the sun and the moon. Oh. Because the sun and the moon. <laughs> no, no. Was it right? I, I tried my best. You did your best and it's amazing and I love it. It's so, so good. I'm so proud of you. I tried to do my best. You did your best. Mm, you're the best. You're, you're welcome, sweetie. Flip it, please. Because I know I made it, and it's you so see the sun and the moon in I did. Is, there, is the tears coming from the heart like when it rains? No. No? <laughs> okay. Um, so let's see. Oh, okay, okay. So what do I do here? Hit up Algus? Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna hit health up with the, again. Because health is very important in this game. At least in the early goings. So now I can't afford anything, so let's escape. Because I need health, for sure. Oh, snap. At last, we made it. Oh, great. Hmm, I'm back alive? Wait, where are they? Hey, Algus, what do you see in there? I'm happy to hear your voice. Is Arius with you? What? Of course I'm here. You saw me two seconds ago. Ha, <laughs> yeah, you're right. What's going on? Nothing. Come here. It's safe. Weird. So this is how the game begins. I feel strange. Have we been here before? There's no need to burden them with my past. I'm living on borrowed time, after all. Hey, Algus, is something wrong? You're acting really weird. N no, it's nothing. We should hurry forward. The sooner we finish here, the sooner we can go home. Dude, I am liking this. It has got layers to this game. It's not just... Huh. Oh, crap, so now I'm starting... Wait, what? Look at the, the bugs underneath. So now I'm starting the beginning area... So down here is where the, um, uh, so I still need a key for that. Oh, blue key required. This is interesting. So these characters have no idea that they're reliving the same thing over and over again. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, let me save it. All right. That's a little bit of a teaser of the next game we're going to play after we play through Valhalla. So, all right, guys, I'm out. I'm going to give it a give it a rest here for a while um, next Tuesday and hopefully every sequential Tuesday after that.
And maybe some other times. Who knows? Maybe if there's an afternoon that I'm free, I could rock a little bit of gaming out. Maybe an early morning. We'll see. I used to like to wake up early on weekends and play games or like Fridays and stuff and play games, but, you know, we'll see. Anyway, guys, until next time, have a wonderful rest of your week. We could consider this kind of a game hump. Where have I heard that before? Your Wednesday night midweek addiction. Could it come back? I don't know. I doubt it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching me play a little bit of Valhalla today and then showing um, just a little bit of Astalon. Great game. I think we should definitely play it. I think it would be really fun. It would be really fun for game night. All right, guys. Take it easy. Until next time.